Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. I pull up roto window shining. Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stirs. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm never going to respond to people hitting on me when people say, Carlos, focus on your own shows, Carlos, this and that. My response, I'm not. I will focus on what I want to focus on. Like, these motherfuckers are bad shit crazy. Where you literally don't need to. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see them ratings and see how bad they gonna look. And they gonna be like, they have no power. None. I think it's important to note that people are really paying attention to the Love and Marriage Huntsville ratings because not only has Carlos, but a lot of the cast members have basically given the fans in the audience a big fat fuck you and dared to see what we do about it. It's not that people want Love and Marriage Huntsville to go down. It's the fact that people want their voices to be heard and people want the higher ups to hold some of these people accountable. The main one being Mills Baby mama i think the cast throwing a big fat fuck you at the audience to get back at us really makes people question their integrity and morals more than anything because although you guys are trying to say that it's a specific fan base at the end of the day love and marriage huntsville fans in general are different from any other show fan base in my opinion whether you think it's cult like or not i think that it is a bunch of people that have invested their time and energy into this show because it came out as a very realistic authentic show it was definitely on a different level when it came out and people were so intrigued by that and that is why it got a chance to grow not because of the fake facades that these people are continuing to try to plaster on our screens and that is quite infuriating for so many people that you guys want to play in people's faces that have invested time and energy into watching this show. Not only that, this show literally supports toxic relationships and toxic people. Anytime there is a big talking point surrounded around one of the cast members' actions and or behaviors, it's almost as if the show pivots from that when they could instead piggyback off of of what so many of the audience want to talk about but they don't do that because again the cast members don't really like the responses that they get from their natural behaviors and actions and then try to put up a facade and Carlos allows them to do this and I don't know why because it's really to the detriment of the show. Rather, people like Letitia's opinions of her being a household mule to her husband and a stay-at-home wife, etc. There were a lot of women that resonated with that lifestyle and resonated with the type of husband that she had, and they should have exposed more of their true characters in true household lifestyle these people have been on a show for i don't know how long you don't see any of their children's birthdays etc you don't really see or know anything about these people other than the fact that they gossip really heavily about other people's lives we also know that they continue to start projects but we don't even see how these projects are facilitated the process the finish or anything we don't even get to see the success part and that's them selling any of this shit or any anybody buying any of these things or them closing any type of contractual deals or anything in the actual finished product. So when the fans call these people out about these things, it's quite infuriating that they associate that with being negative. Calling them out about the negative actions that they display on our camera screen is negative. And it's just so disingenuous to expect people to always be positive, positive, positive and lie like what Carlos tried to do 
with the ratings. And this is always going to be a problem. If you continue to stroke people's ego and not actually hold them accountable and tell the truth, then this is what we get. If he was just accountable and noted the real ratings instead of trying to continue on with the facade, then he would be able to sit down and figure out why. But the thing is, he has told us time and time again, I will focus on what I want to focus on. As if it's a flex blatantly ignoring your audience that is putting the money in your pocket because they ultimately are the ones watching the show. And in my opinion, like I've expressed over a plethora of videos, I believe it's his ego. His ego won't listen to the audience because he looks at us trying to dictate or tell him what to do when that's not reality. He thinks that he has put all of this hard work, time, and energy into producing this show so he can change the show and do the show however he want without understanding the overall premise of how the show was built and how it, the success became is ultimately what people have been begging for you to bring back but instead you try to continue to play in our face and make it seem like we're negative i also think it's interesting how you have always used a lot of these platforms for your ratings but the minute they don't keep up with the facade that you want to perpetuate now all of a sudden you're finding new articles to post to continue on with the narrative that you want to push out but variety and tvds basically called carlos king out which i think is funny because why would they lie they don't have no bone in the fight like no dog in the fight there's no reason for them to get on here and lie because i know he's going to say that the fans are haters and negative all these fucking people have been asking you to do was hold mills baby mama accountable and take him off the show but instead you ignore your entire fan base or audience reward an abuser that has been convicted of dv harassing communication to your star by giving him more camera time and then you allow the cast of your show to push out a storyline attacking an entire fan base and acting as if an entire fan base calling out an abuser is more deplorable than the actual abuser and having multiple of your cast members basically saying that the fans are deplorable they're horrible they're bitter they're angry they're miserable old women knowing that majority of the people that that watch the show are women between the ages of 25 and 54. So shout out to Millie Chun because that's where I got a lot of these screenshots from. She was basically saying, if I'm not mistaken, that she was speaking to somebody that used to work for a variety where they basically broke this down. This is what Carlos forgot to show you guys, which was the entire article. It says, owns Love and Marriage Huntsville, which follows a group of longtime friends and frenemies with strong personalities and opinions who live in Huntsville, Alabama, ranks as Saturday's night or ranks as Saturday night's number one telecast among all key African-American demos across bro both broadcast and cable. According to the cabler, the first six episodes of season eight have averaged a 3.6 L3 rating among African-American women 25 to 54 on Saturday. June 8th, the series averaged a 3.36 L3 rating. In that demo, a 211% ratings increase in both demo versus the live. And you know, we already read that part in my last video. But basically, the way Millie Chun was explaining this in her video was that he got 3.6 L3 ratings for the first six episodes of season eight. Meaning he got 3.36 for one episode. So technically, that's not necessarily a good thing. You're not necessarily pushing thing in an upward trend and I think that is the demise of the show ultimately the fact that they continue to not be transparent across the board and continue to try to fake it till you make it or put on facades which we know isn't true nine times out of ten you don't have the ratings that you so desperately desire because you're supporting abuse there are people that are not mellow meters that do not rock with Martel and his behaviors but yet you think that it is just hateful 
mellow meters or one hateful fan base which is why we are currently still in the 200,000s as far as ratings go and people probably only watch that video like Millie Chun said because they wanted to see their interaction with Mill and Marceau to be honest the storylines are still trash we still don't know anything really about Stormy so she didn't really get a real introduction now at this point she's just messy as shit in everybody business we don't know nothing about her and her husband's baby making we don't know anything really about her in the business anymore that's the thing y'all are not talking about the stuff that the people want to talk about like why isn't she really selling hair products anymore and why has it jumped over to the body glaze keep it all the way transparent let us know the ups and downs or the mere fact that libido the mule and cancer hunter what is it that they got going on kimmy always got her face stuck up in another woman's face with her mouth open like she want to suck her freaking soul out of her pay attention to kimmy in the scenes that she have with mill in the way she just always always staring at Mel and the way she's always just staring for reactions she literally brings nothing ever she don't even bring any type of wisdom she don't have any type of motherhood no type of sisterhood no type of anything she has no type of input when Letitia was showing out and on her drunken Bessemer beer back rage libido did nothing no type of input that's supposed to be your bitch right that's supposed to be your family yet you got her out here looking raggedy and decrepit because you don't care she she has no type of cold she's just all male and uh all all male identified I, I just cannot stand libido but i'm gonna end this with a debuncture because i think it's interesting how everybody's tune is changing at first it became the fan base harassing and they are deplorable and i can't believe they were do such dastardly disgusting things and at first it was you know i'm not striking them they're lying it, and it it was all of this base in everybody's voice until the ratings came back. And I think that is interesting because y'all know enough to know that whatever y'all doing is not working and y'all attacking the fan base is not working, but it's deeper than that. It's the fact that y'all will not only attack the women that caused the abuser out, but y'all will... In y'all are literally supporting the abuser the fact that stormy had even sat down with mill to try to make it seem like she was asking her if she would be okay with martel coming to her event is crazy because why the fuck do you even want him at your event as a woman knowing that he had been convicted for trying to put revenge p out on another woman but it's the fact that you try to act like you don't know that Mill already told you she didn't want that man around. But we're going to talk about that in a different video. I got a debuncture for your ass, Nostradamus. But y'all let me know what y'all think about all this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so y'all are up to date each and every time that I upload. So remember Destiny and Tisha had the conversation about are you going to the podcast? And they were saying they weren't going to go because of Melody's fan base. They feel like Melody's fan base are not nice to them. And then in this in, in this most recent episode, Kimmy said, the people who flock to you, they're mean to me. And and if I was there, they would have been mean to me because they were mean to Sonny. And Mel said, well, based on the circumstances of Sonny, that's why, you know, the audience was activated. And obviously, it was my show. The audience at the podcast were lovely. It was, it was, it was filled with millimeters and raindrops. And I have to say to you, Heavenly, it was filled with beautiful people. We had a beautiful time. I stay behind. I took pictures with the millimeters. With the, it was. I had a great time. I had a great time. So the thing is this: Stormy was even there, and Stormy, from my understanding, had no issues. So I am aware that there are some people because I don't like to say everybody because I feel like we all have fans. And what I don't do, I don't group the totality of the fan base with with certain people who do stuff within that fan base, right? We all, everybody in the fan base has at least one, two, or more who do the most. So I'll say this. There are some people who do the most, right? But you can't blame the whole fan base for that, to me. And my whole thing is, like, with the fan base, with the moment, usually the people are mean on, online. So I, like, I've had people say all kind of shit to me online. But in public, I've never had a problem. Ain't nobody never called me no bitch or nothing. Yes. Anything else you anything you want to say before we start? Um, oh, well, let me clear how things up. Now, Carlos, I don't know if I should say this or not, but I know it's not true. So I'm gonna put it out there. You ain't striking nobody channels. Is you they keep emailing me and texting me for <gasps> channels. So clean that up.
telling people you ain't striking nobody. Mm. Trying. People put stuff out there and they believe it. Well, it that's, well, exactly. Because listen, you know how this industry works. They want to believe the worst about you because they, they want to say like, oh, we got something on him. I do not strike content creators content. It wouldn't that, make sense because it builds you up, right? I just sit up here and said to you guys in nauseam that content creators and bloggers are the reason why our shows are successful. My raindrops know that at the end of the day, there's people out there who want to believe the worst about me. Now, what I will say is I did a live podcast with Melody, Dr. Melody Sheree Rogers. Yeah, well, her, her, right, that's her. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And I recorded it because I'm going to drop it on my YouTube channel. Unfortunately, a few people want a few people uploaded my paid for podcast on their channels. You, you see what I'm saying? I don't before you even I, dropped it before I dropped it. When I drop my podcast interviews on Tuesday, everyone takes it. Everyone takes, and I don't I don't care. That helps me promote it. So what happened was we saw a few people who uploaded my entire podcast interview. And I am going to upload it. I'm actually going to upload it next Tuesday. How can they so, get your podcast? How could they have gotten the whole thing before because you drop? people, instead of enjoying the show, people were doing this the whole the whole two hours. Oh, I see. I see. Mm -hmm. They did the whole two hours and they uploaded it. And that is what the issue was. But again, doesn't that make sense? You can't you can't record Marital Medicine and upload on YouTube channel and not expect the NBC Universal to strike it and say, guys, if you want to talk about the show, do that. So that's all it was. But of course, someone took that and said, Carlos is a hater. He's he's striking black people who are blogging. He he's 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 striking people who talk about him. If I would have striked everybody who talks about me, I wouldn't have a job. There you have it. Yeah. All y'all do is talk about me, and I'm and, and let's be clear, I'm not mad at it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, but but there you go. But again, again, that's the truth. People ran with it and try to make it seem like I'm this horrible person, and and that's not the case. And I know you're not. And the, the, the next next thing is, and I don't even know why this is a thing. They say that you recruited me for Marceau's event, uh, the Black Expo, and they keep calling it Expo. I don't know why they call it Expo, but it's a Black Business Expo, right? Amazon. Yeah has backed that event. That's why I'm in it. Because Amazon this, actually... This is what we know about some reality fans. Not all some, and I love I love them all. You have a very small few reality fans who take this too far and it impacts people's personal lives. If you don't like somebody on TV, that's cool. If you if you don't like me, that's fine. What 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 is so deplorable and karma's gonna get your ass is when you personally contact people, the businesses, the brands, the police, and do all these things, and you're trying to attack them in their personal lives. When you watch a TV show, have an opinion, talk about it, tweet about it, comment, who, who cares? So when people are saying to you about the Black Expo, these are people who do not like Tisha Marcel, and that's okay. You do not have to like them, and that's fine. Why sit up here and attack anything associated with them, contact the brands and get them removed? That's not okay. If my raindrops would ever do that, I would I would be like, what are y'all doing? It's not okay to do that. Nobody should be assaulting people like that. It's crazy to me. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. But I wanted to say for the record, you didn't make me do that event. Those people no! that, that said that Amazon's back in the event, Dr. Heavenly, we need you. And they paying me to do it. And, I, and I'm coming on. I didn't know anything about nothing, but they started texting me and saying, why are you doing? I love Melody. Melody's my girl. That's who I love. We right? all love. The thing is this. I love Melody. You love Melody. We love Marcel. You like, it's okay, guys, to like somebody. To have an opinion, but, right? But that's the reason why people like to say Carlos loves all the girls. That's what I knew was a problem when y'all take me loving someone as negative. And 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 that's why I say to people, you some some people, not all, some of y'all go way too far with it. So again, y'all want to make it seem like Carlos King is striking YouTube channels 
who talks about him. I talk about um, bloggers who I love, who talk about me. I'm, I have fun with them. I'm never going to sit up here and 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 fire somebody from their job the way y'all trying to do it by contacting people saying don't work with these folks. Now check and, that. The last thing I'm gonna say about it is honestly, we're trying to help black people come up. We can't tear each other down, y'all. I know we do a lot on TV, but people, real businesses, y'all can't tear down. And anything that's helping financial literacy and helping black people come ahead, because actually Amazon will be at that event looking for other people to do other things with. They're looking to spend money with our community, guys. Let's not strike stuff down. Make sure y'all register today. It's in Atlanta. It's the Black Business Expo. I don't even know that, but y'all can find it on my page. But support a brother. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on with marriage, Love and Marriage Huntsville because I ain't watched it since. So when y'all say I knew or something and I'm against somebody and I ain't loyal, I don't know nothing. I know that I love Melody Holt. She's a very powerful black woman. I don't have nothing against Martell. I don't know the story, so I can't even speak on it. But anyway, you getting the drama you need for your show. So we're going <laughs> to review that brother Tucker too. I, I can't wait to review your show. Oh, no. So the thing is this. What I want to announce to the audience is at the end of the day, this is something that me and Heavenly have organically been doing. Yeah, yeah. I pull up Roto Window County. Yeah. I pull up Roto Window County. Yeah. Yeah. I pull up Roto Window County. Yeah. Oh, my God.